Hi, welcome to Yoga with Andrea. As you can see, I'm starting out this session on my knees. So if you want to put a, just be, get, begin with you right now, get a blanket, put it underneath your knees, I'll give you a second. Maybe you've already taped the show and you know it's coming, but just you're going to pad your knees because it's, you know, hard floor. Kneecaps are not designed to be, you know, put on something hard. They, they're, you know, when you kneel down, kneel down with padded knees or on a blanket. Good. And what I want you to do is we're going to just start right into this series, but first let the shoulders release and get a little movement in our shoulders. So inhale, take your shoulders to your ears. Yep. And then exhale, release down. So welcome to Very Yoga with Andrea. Very Yoga is a style of yoga that I've created over the last 10 years with my partner, Brian Fowler, who you guys sometimes see on the show with me. He couldn't make it here today. And it means variety. One size is not fit all one journey, many paths. You know, we're on this journey of life and we have many different paths. I don't know, you know, you're watching the show. I don't know if you're, what health issues you're dealing with, how much family life is, what's going on in your family, how many kids you have, what's your job situation. We all have different paths. The life is, the, the journey is life. And yoga helps us find a balance in that, on that journey, in those different paths we live our lives. So what we do here is this is a sequence that'll help stretch out and open up your hips. So step your right foot forward. Just come, join me here. And I brought it way out there ahead of my knee a little bit because as I lunge into this pose, you want to keep your knee right over your ankle. Good. And then bring your left hand to the top of your thigh and the right hand to the top of that left hand. And then just lower your hips. And as you do that, you're going to push your chest away from your thigh. So you lift your torso, not the hips, but leave the hips going down as the torso lengthens upward. Hands on your thigh, shoulder blades back, hips towards the floor. Good. And now bring your legs straight a little bit. Lift your toes. And just stretch your calf. You're going to feel stretched right down the calf. That's it. My hand, just leave your hands on your thigh. There you go. Yep, and then bend your knee again. So we're gonna do this two times. We're gonna get those hips releasing tension out of them and out of your thigh muscles. Good. And then bring your hips back and bring your knee to your blanket. Let's change sides. F foot out in front, a little bit of balance there. And then bend your knee, lift your chest, lift your heart so your shoulders are lengthening down the back. Good, hands are on your thigh, that's it. Good. And look at your foot, so it's knees right over the ankle. Yeah. And now let's straighten the leg. And you'll pull with the muscles of your leg, pull your toes back. Yeah, flex it. So keep your hands on your thigh for your balance, and then bend your knee again. Toes down, hips down. Yeah, heart lifts. And then Back again, lift the toes one more time. Yeah. Oh, feel that stretch in your calf muscle. And now bring your knees to the blanket. Now I have this block with me. Now you may not have a block. So lots of times what will work is a book. And I'll show you how you can do this without having a block. So you just put your, if you have one, put it here. Take your, this, your right knee out to the side. Place your elbow on your thigh. So you don't need your block right now. Lift your arm up and then turn and twist, reaching. So you're getting a length to the right, left side of your torso. And then open back up again. Take that arm up, reach it up, that's it. And then reach sideways. And then back up, that's it. And to the side. And back up. And to the side. Good. And then we come up like this. See, this is where the block comes in handy. But if you can't reach the block, or you don't have a block, then see if you can reach the floor. Straighten your leg. Good. And extend the arm up. That's it. So if you have a block, put your hand on your block. Take your fingertips to the floor if you need to. Just take the arm up and breathe. There you go. Now bring your hand down. Bend the knee. I'm going to leave my block right there. But take my, your foot out to the other side. Keep the knee bent, then take your forearm to your thigh, and this time lift your arm up on this side and reach, getting some strength, length in that side body. Open up, we, we move with the breath, so it's an inhale coming up, 
and exhale, reaching and lengthening through the arm and the shoulder. Good, and open up again. One thing that the, the yoga helps do for us is the big movements of our arms and legs help move circulation, this circulation moves blood, also the lymphatic system helps it work more efficiently. But what it does too is it puts us in that place with, the, with our nervous system known as the parasympathetic, which is this, the relaxation mode. Most of the time we're in a fight or flight. I've got to get there, I've got to get to work, I've got to get to answer the phone, I've got to get those emails, I've got to send that text. That's how we sort of our life. So yoga, even taking this show with you for a few minutes helps you um, go to the relaxed place. So I hope you are doing this with me. Now what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna stay on my knees, you too, you stay on your knees, and inhale, bring your arms up. So sometimes I do these poses standing, but I thought for today we'll do it on our knees. And exhale, bring your arms back down. Yeah, watch what I do with my hands. Turn your palms open, inhale your arms up. Turn the palms away from each other, exhale down in. To add a little work for the neck, do this. Turn the palms open, look up at your hands on the inhale, Turn the palms away, look down towards your knees on the exhale. Two more times. And once more. Good, now we're gonna add a little side stretch. So inhale your arms up. You're gonna go to your right. So take that right hand, slide it down your thigh and reach over with your left arm. Inhale back up. Slide the left hand, reach over to the left. Inhale back up. So this is one way to practice what we call Chandra Namaskar, moon salutations, the very yoga style. There are many different ways of doing moon salutations, many different ways of doing sun salutations. I'm teaching you one that you can do actually just kneeling. Good. Great for the spine. And we add a twist. So you bring your arms so they're parallel and just twist, look over your Right fingertips, come back up. Turn to your left. And come back up. Let's go again, do it again. Turn to your right. Come back up. And turn to your left. Beautiful. And come back up. Bring your arms down. Come off your knees and come to sitting. Take your legs straight out in front of you. Now I said in my previous show, we're gonna do some footwork. So if you were doing all that with your socks or shoes on, now's the time to take them off. And look at your feet. I'm gonna show you some things you can do with your feet you probably didn't even realize. When you just put your hands beside you like this so you can support yourself. Just flex your feet, pull your toes towards you, push through your heels. Now point your toes. Flex your foot again. There you go, your feet, both your feet, and point. Okay, so from here, keep your feet in a pointed position. Then we add a move of pulling the toes back. We call that flointing. So it's a cross between flex and point. So you have a floint. Yeah. And spread your toes. Floint those feet. And now relax them. And just shake them out. Just shake them out. Good. All right, so now we're going to bend your right knee. I want you to bend your right knee. And bring your right foot into your right hand. Good. Pick it up. And we're going to play and we're going to work on this right foot. So you first cradle your knee. Bala Dolikasana, it's baby cradle. Dolika in Sanskrit is cradle. Bala is baby or child. Good. And then we set the right foot on top of the thigh. And you just grab your foot for a minute. And just give it some pressure with your, some squeeze with your hands, creating a little pressure on it. And then take your left hand, place it on the top of your foot, and just pull your toes, the top of the foot, you're bending, you're pointing it, but this time you're not using the muscles of the foot, you're using your hand. The, the hands help to point your foot. And then your hands help to flex your foot. And then you point and flex and pull back and forth, yeah. This is where I love to say, grab your toe, the big toe, and start to turn and twist. This is where I like to say, this little soybean went to yoga. This little soybean stayed home. This little soybean did down dog. 
and this little soybean did none. And the last little soybean omed all the way home. But all the soybeans got a pedicure. <laughs> so I want you to massage the bottom of your foot with your thumb. So if you, you can see in the, in the, on the television, I'm pushing the bottom of my, right at the base of my toes with my thumbs. You know, the, the whole thing about reflexology, and they say the whole ma map of our body is on the bottom of our foot. So up above the toes is up to do with around our head, sinuses. You move down into the chest and heart and shoulders, and then you're massaging the top of your foot. And then down to the, sole, the soft tissue, don't press too hard here. It's, it correlates with your, your abdomen and your torso. Good, and then down to the heel. That's getting down into your hips and parts of the legs. The spine runs on the outside of your foot. So I'm not an expert in reflexology, but I have gone to reflexologists who have worked on my feet that if I've had an issue with my, actually with my feet or even with my back or my, uh, something to do with my indigestion, digestive system, it helps, it really does. Reflexologists are amazing. They can do amazing work on your feet. We so much ignore our feet. Now what we do is you'll pick your foot up. You don't have to, uh, you can pick it up and I'm just squeeze the heel a little bit like that. And this, this tendon here is called the Achilles tendon, massage on either side of it. They say that if you're expecting in the next couple weeks, if you're pregnant and you're expecting, this is where the midwife will massage when you go into labor, they'll massage this to help you give birth, help with the birth. Now let's take a, make a fist and rub the bottom of your foot. Yeah, just make a nice, this, uh, this helps create circulation in the bottom of your foot. And then we do a little tap, just sort of tap the, from the heel. And notice when you do this, is there any places on your foot that feel, have a little more tenderness to them? Just pay attention. This is an opportunity for you to look at your foot while you're working on it. Yeah, good. And then shake your hands out and just slap your foot. Feels really good, waking it up. You know, so many times we just put our socks on, put our feet in our shoes, and we never look at our feet. We don't really pay attention to them. This is an opportunity for you to give them a little bit of a treat. And then take your ankle, hold your ankle with your hand. Watch this and just shake your foot out. Just let the foot be really loose and shake it. Yeah, good. And we have the other side. Yay, so straighten out your legs. That one foot's a happy foot. There's a movie called Happy Feet. I don't know if you saw it, but it's a wonderful movie about these, this uh, emperor penguin. It's a cartoon. But he, can, he dances and he has happy feet. So we're giving you some happy feet here. Giving yourself some happy feet. Taking time to give your foot a massage. Good, so we first open up, we do this baby cradle because it helps loosen our hip. So we can hold our foot with, on the thigh without having too much discomfort, yes. And then place your ankle on your thigh. And again, earlier we pointed our foot, but we used our leg muscles to do that. You're gonna now use your hand. Oh, pull that foot, you're pointing it. And then when you push it away, that's a flex. Do that a couple times. Use your hands, stretch the top of the foot. You're stretching into the ankle and then Forward and back, good. Okay, and then again, grab the big toe. You can say to yourself that little soybean story, going to yoga, not. But definitely all the toes get a pedicure. It's good for your feet. If you, um, like I said, I, I go every month before the show and I, I love it, it's such a good treat for the feet. All the way down. But you give your own foot massage. It's, like I said, it gives you an opportunity to look at your toes, to look at your whole foot, to see if anything you're changing on your feet. Excellent. And then we massage the foot, putting the, the thumbs at the base of your toes, fingers at the top. Yeah. So Ian, you can vary your foot massages. Sometimes I'll put my fingers between my toes, sometimes I won't. But just make sure you get some um, stimulation and movement and, and pressure onto your feet and your toes. You could do this every morning before you take your shower, after your shower, or before you put your shoes on. Just give your feet a little care. Yeah. Excellent. Because you know you're helping your whole body when you start your feet. They're our foundation. And when they're not happy, parts of the other body of our body are not happy. Now make a fist and you rub the bottom of your foot. And then with your knuckles, just knock it, top, tap it. Yeah.
Yes, good. Shake out your hands and slap it. Ooh, that feels so good. I hope you're trying. And now grab your ankle and shake it out. There you go. All right. Happy feet. Good. So let's, from our feet, let's go up through our legs. What you do is take your feet wide apart, but if you have a mat, you're sitting on your mat, take it the width of your mat or about, mm, that's almost just under three feet. And sit up nice and straight, but just turn your toes in. I want you to look and see, this is called inner rotation because you're actually all the way up into the hips, the shin bones, the femur bones, they're rotating inward. Good. And then you can do an outer rotation. So you take your, see if you can let your little toes come out. Usually outer rotation is a little easier for people. Just notice for yourself, take your toes in, your feet in, your knees in, your, rotating your inner thighs. Rotate them out. Little toes come down, good. Let's try that again. In, yeah, good. Woo! Can you touch? And it's okay if you can't. You're just observing, you're learning about your movement of your legs. Yeah. Then we're gonna do a little lift here for our legs. Bring your feet close together. And I want you to turn your right foot out like this. Just turn it out. Keep the left toes pointing up. And just lift your left, right foot off the floor. Two times. Three. Good. Keep going. Four. Five. Ooh, you'll feel your thigh muscle. And then release. Let's do the other side. Good. Lift your foot. That's it. Lift it up. And the whole, not just the foot, the leg lifts up. And your toes are turned out to the side. You know what, this will help uh, strengthen the knees too, the muscles and the tendons and ligaments around the knee. Yeah. Good, let's do it again. Do your right side again, lift up. So if you ever noticed I mean, a tendency to have a little bit of aches or pains in, the, in your knee, it could just be a muscle misalignment. That happened to me this summer. I walked downhill eight miles and this knee was so out of whack. I thought, oh no, I have cartilage problem. Turns out it was just that my muscles were out of whack because I had, the year before, some of you knew that I had foot surgery and that threw my whole body off. So with, it, with a little bit of yoga and one visit to the physical therapist, I fixed my knee, yay. So those are great things to do. And I'll show you another thing, a great thing to do for your knees is you sit up nice and straight, take your feet wide apart, lower one knee, towards the floor. Roll to the inside of your ankle. Let your foot roll, the sole of the foot come off the floor, yeah. And then just change sides, so let the other knee go down. Slowly, don't force it. You know, the key thing too is to find a place where you can move your joints, move your body without creating pain. Yoga is all about, it's all, all gain without pain. And so if you find that you're in a yoga practice where your, your back starts to hurt or you're doing things that like, wow, this doesn't feel right. Stop. That's the whole thing about Vary Yoga. We teach is to honor your body, be the master of your mat. One size does not fit all. And don't force yourself to do something if it continues to cause you pain. You know, we, we really stress that. And I can vouch because I've done yoga for 20 years and it's really helped me. But I've had to learn to honor my body and the changes it goes through. So I give you permission to do that for you too. You'll be a happy camper for the rest of your life. <laughs> now bend your knees. We do this. We did this in the previous show. It's Baddha Konasana, but you can hold your ankles and just start to fold forward. Yeah. Now we can just take our feet a little further apart because when you take your legs out a little further, you might find you can go a little further. It's kind of fun. See if you can go a little deeper and elbows to your shins. Oh, this is going for the back. Relax the neck. And then come up, bring your knees together. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a little Bharad Vajrasana sequence. It's a name of a sage, Bharad Vajrasana. And you're gonna swing your knees, your feet, swing your feet to the left, okay? And you're sitting, on your sit on that right thigh. And one thing you do in this pose is you see the left leg is a little higher, you're gonna push into that knee. And as you push into that thigh and knee, you notice you start to twist automatically. Good, and so then bring your left hand to your thigh and twist around to your right. Just keep the knees apart. Yep, push into that left knee, lengthen up through your torso, and just look over your right shoulder. Yeah. 
and then back to center. And what I'm gonna have you do is take your right arm out to the side, just like this, palm down. And then inhale, lift your left. And I want you to take, look at your thumb and follow your left thumb. Take your gaze up. And then exhale, sweep the arm around and bend, reach underneath your right. And then inhale, open up. Exhale, twist and turn. Inhale. And exhale. And again. And reach, beautiful. Now stay here with your legs like this and just twist. This is called a closed twist because when you were twisting like this, you were opening up, you're opening your chest, opening your heart. This way you're turning in towards your uh, thigh. It's more binding, but it also gets a deep twist into your lower abdomen, which helps where's where your lower intestines, which helps with your digestion. Good, sitting nice and straight. And then back to center. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing our legs the other way. Yes, good. And you, again, now it's the right knee that pushes in. Knees come apart and then twist to your left. Right hand on your thigh. Push into that leg. As you notice, you let your hip lift, let your heart lift. Turn as deep as you can without creating any strain in the back. Breathing, be up on your fingertips on your right arm. I mean, your back arm, left. Breathe, yeah, one of my favorites. And then come to the side hand down and let's inhale lift up here reach back follow your gaze on that looking at your thumb and reach under inhale open up exhale come on join me so I know some of you watch this show regularly I really appreciate that and I want you to know that I appreciate you and you taking time for yourself I appreciate Jones Television and the work they do here. Isn't it wonderful you can get TV right into your living room, no advertising? It's the best. You know if anybody out there that would love to sponsor my show, let me know. ARYoga.com. Come all the way up. Yeah, now do it close twist with me, turning to your right. Ooh, that's it. I feel that too. So it may look easy for me, but I feel a, t a good twist in my torso. I hope you do too. So I hope you've taken time for yourself today with me, practicing yoga for you. And come back to center. Yeah. Let's release our legs and take them straight out in front of us. A good counter pose for a twist is a forward bend. You bend your knees a little bit, yep. And then you bring your arms up and we're gonna reach for the, our toes. See my, how, how bent my knees are. I want you to do the same thing. So grab your toes with your hands. Good. Inhale, pull against the toes and lengthen up through the shoulders and the head. And then you push your toes away from you. Watch what happens. It automatically will pull you forward a little bit. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, breathing in and out through your nose. And exhale. Good. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale. Yeah. And then release. Okay. So come to all, so sitting like this in Dandasana. And I want to talk to you a little bit about breath before we close. I want you to think about the shape of this block. So what it, I want you to look at it. It's like it has a really long side, a short top, a longer side. So it's a rectangle shape. And what the practice we're going to do right now with our breath is think about your inhale coming up one side, you pause, retain the breath in, across, exhale down, suspend the breath out along the bottom. So just think about this. So you can close your eyes if you want to leave them open, but sit in the legs out in front of you, lean against your couch or sit up on your couch now if you want to practice it this way. So you inhale through your nose, pause, Exhale down, out, and pause. So think about this. Inhale for the count of six. Pause for three. Exhale down. Pause for three. Keep going. 
close your eyes, nice, full, deep inhalations. Remember, you're just making the shape of a rectangle. And then you exhale, even the exhale with the inhale. Even the suspension of breath with the retention. Breathing in and out through your nose. See if you can increase the pause. Holding the breath in just a little longer. And then letting the breath out. Suspend the breath out a little longer. And then inhaling. So I thank you for coming and joining me on television today. Just tuning in, sitting in your living room, wherever you may be, and taking time for yourself. At the Yoga Center, we close our classes with the saying of the word namaste. Namaste means from my heart to yours. You can put your hands in front of your heart in a gesture of honoring or just leave them on your lap. But I thank you for joining us. <laughs>